हेलो एवरीवन यू आर हियरिंग टू प्रोफेसर धनंजय भोगे वेलकम टू वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन कैनमेटिक एनालिसिस ऑफ मैकेनिजम्स यूजिंग ग्राफिकल मेथड्स वन अंडर दिस वी आर स्टडी इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर ऑफ रोटेशन मेथड टू डिटरमाइन अननोन वेलोसिटीज ऑफ द लिंक्स इन प्लेनर मैकेनिज्म वी विल सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन आई सी आर मेथड टूडे दिस इज माई प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट This is the given mechanism where AB is seventy five mm, BC is equals to DE is equals to two twenty five millimeters. Angle at C is thirty degrees. Angle at A is thirty degrees. Angle at D is forty five degrees, and D is midpoint of link BC. Angular velocity of link BA is given as eighty radian per second in clockwise direction. and we will determine angular velocity of link bc and velocity of slider e now we'll construct the configuration diagram using some scale so comparing the paper size and the dimensions of the mechanism i will use the scale of 1 cm equals to 25 mm so AB is seventy five, so seventy five divided by twenty five it becomes three centimeters. So I have drawn this line of three centimeters at thirty degrees to the horizontal. Then BC is two twenty five millimeters, so two twenty five divided by scale factor of twenty five will get nine centimeters. So I have drawn this line BC of nine centimeters. At an angle of one twenty degrees at B, because you can see here is thirty degrees. This becomes ninety degrees. Here is sixteen. Now from this second right angle triangle, this is thirty. This is ninety. So this is sixty. So total angle, that is angle ABC is one twenty degrees. So. One twenty degrees to AB. I have plotted BC of nine centimeters. Then D is marked as the midpoint of link BC, and at D, at forty five degrees, I have plotted line DE. Here is DE, which is also equals to nine centimeters, and it is connected to the vertical slider, and this link is connected to horizontal slider. So configuration diagram is completed using scale of one centimeter equals to twenty five millimeters. Now next step is to number the links. We we'll start numbering the links from fixed link, link number one, crank as link number two, as link number three, this slider as link number four, this as link number five, this slider as link number six. So there are six number of links. In the next step, as we have seen, we divide the circle. Into number of parts equals to the number of links. So we have six links. So I will divide this circle into six equal parts. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Next step is to number these divisions in any sense, either clockwise or counterclockwise. I will number in clockwise sense. Three, four, five, six. So six links, six divisions. Okay, now we'll start plotting ICs. We start from link number one. One is connected to two using a pin joint. So here is I center I one two. So I will join the corresponding line in this circle. I will join one to two. This line represents I center one two. Two is connected to three using I center. Uh, sorry, pin join. So this is the common I center I two three. So I will join two three. Next three is connected to five. Again using a pin join. So here is I center three five. So I will join the line three five. Next three is connected to slider four using a pin join. So here is 
I three four. So we join the line three four. Next five is connected to six using a pin join. So here is I center five six. We join the line five six. Now link number four that is slider is sliding with respect to fixed link one in horizontal direction. So its center of rotation that is I center I one four will lie at infinity along a line perpendicular to line of stroke of slider four. So this is the line perpendicular to line of stroke of slider four. And on this line somewhere at infinity lies I center one four. So I one four at infinity. Similarly, link number six is sliding relative to link number one in vertical direction. So its common I center I one six will lie at infinity along this line which is perpendicular to line of stroke of slider six. So I one six at infinity. So I think we have plotted all the obvious ICs. Two lines are remaining. Last two lines. I one four we have plotted. So I will join one four. Also we have got I one six. So I will join one six. So how many number of ICs? One two three four five six seven non-obvious ICs. Now since the mechanism consists of six number of links, total number of ICs are 15. Going by this equation, n equals to n, n minus 1 divided by 2, 6, 5 divided by 2, 15. But we will not plot all the ICs because no need to plot, uh, plot all the 15 ICs. Now which IC is to plot? For that let us read the problem statement. Velocity of link number 2 is given as 80 radian per second. And we want to find out velocity of link BC that is link number 3. So we have to plot I center 2, 3. It is already there. So we will do the calculations by applying angular velocity ratio theorem. So omega 3 divided by omega 2 is equals to common I center I 2 3 common I center I 2 3 I 2 3 to I 1 2 distance I 2 3 to I 1 3. Now I have I 2 3 I 2 3 is there I 2 3 is there I 1 2 I 1 2 is there I13, I13 is not there. So let us plot I13. So join 13 and see whether 13 is the common side of two triangles. Yes, it is. First triangle is 1, 2, 3, and second triangle is 1, 4, 3. So we can plot this IC. So I will write here I13 lies on line joining IC12 and IC23 as well as I13 lies on line joining 14 and 34. This is Kennedy's theorem. So I13 will be at the point of intersection of these two lines. Now let us draw these two lines. First line is line joining I12 and I23. So where is I12? It is here and I23 is here. So this is the first line. First line, line joining 1, 2 and 2, 3. Now second line is line joining I14 and I34. This is the line which is joining I34 to I14 at infinity. And point of intersection of both these lines will give I13. So we have plotted I13. 
Now we can measure the distances. So omega 3 is to be determined. Omega 2 is 80 radian per second. I2, 3, 2, I1, 2 distance. We'll measure the distance. I2, 3, 2, I1, 2. It is 3 centimeters. And I2, 3, 2, I1, 3. It is 9.3 centimeters. So omega 3 is equals to, we'll do the calculations for this. Omega 3 is equals to omega 3 is equals to three into eighty divided by 9.3 25.80 radian per second the magnitude of angular velocity of link BC that is number 3 now what about its direction for finding out the direction we look the position of common I center 2 3 with respect to I 1 2 and I 1 3 so here it is 2 3 I 1 2 and I 1 3 all the three ICs will lie in single straight line as per Kennedy's rule. But I23 is in between I12 and I13. Therefore, link number 2 and 3 rotates in opposite direction. Now, link number 2 is rotating in clockwise direction. So, link number 3 will rotate in counterclockwise direction. So, we have determined angular velocity of link number 3. Now, next, we want to find out velocity of slider E, which is our link number 6. So, I will write now we know velocity of link number 2, we know velocity of link number 3, we want to find out velocity of link number 6. So we can use any one of these two ICs to find out velocity of link number 6. Now go to the circle and look whether I26 is there, it is not there, I36 it is not there, then which to use? We will use the eye center which is easy to plot. Look at 2, 6. If I join the line 2, 6, I get only one triangle. And second triangle is missing. Now, if I join 3, 6, I get two triangles. Yes, 3, 1, 6 and 3, 5, 6. So, we will use I, 3, 6. So we'll plot this IC 36. So 36 it's common side of two triangles. First triangle is 1316. So I36 will lie on line joining these two ICs 13 and 16. Second triangle is 356. So 36 will lie on line joining I35 and I56. So I36 will be at the intersection of these two lines. Now let us draw these two lines. Line joining 3556. So here is 35, here is 56. This is the line joining 3556. This is my first line. Okay. Now second line. Line joining 1, 3, 1, 6. Here is 1, 3. And 1, 6 lie on infinity on this line. So to reach infinity at I, 1, 6 from I, 1, 3, we need to draw a line parallel to this line which is already passing through I16 at infinity because two parallel lines will meet each other at infinity. So let us draw the line parallel to this line. So this line will pass through I16 at infinity. So this is our sec uh, second line joining I132 to I16. Now intersection of these two lines will locate I36. So this is our first line 35 56 
and this is 1316 so here I get I36 now let us do the calculations link number 3 is rotating link number 6 is slider so we cannot use this angular velocity ratio theorem so first of all what we do in such cases we assume I36 lies on link number 3 now link number 3 is rotating so I36 will rotate with link number 3 so its linear tangential velocity when it rotates with link number 3 is equals to distance of I36 from center of rotation of link number 3 into its angular velocity into the scale factor is equals to I36 to I13 we required this distance so let us measure it I36 to I13 it is equals to 3 centimeters exactly so 3 into omega 3 we have determined just now 25.8 into scale is 1 centimeter equals to 25 millimeters so we'll find out this value so 3 into 3 into 25.8 into 25 is equals to 1935 millimeter per second that is 1.93 meter per second is the linear speed of I36 when it lies on link number 3. Now in the next step we assume that I36 lies on link number 6. Link number 6 is a slider. All the points on the slider will have same linear velocity. We have determined linear velocity of I36 which is already on the slider. So this is the velocity of slider 6. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you very much.